We will start because definitely I want to be mindful about our time. It's end of the day, Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, it is. So definitely like we are tired of the all meetings, all the SEO day that we had. So uh, please, uh, when you join, like if you want to just like put your name, say hello, or just like enjoy in your, with your coffee, uh, please uh, feel free to do. Uh, also, this is not going to be like lectures because I think we are tired of the lectures. We are not in the high schools, so I really want to make it like as interactive as possible for the people who want to ask something and just like uh, want to try to fix their problem. So uh, uh, one thing is actually we will have a small intro just for people who don't know me, and then we will start about the main topic, how to build the SEO confidence. And then also I want to um, hear you, your goals, like what you want to achieve with the confidence, why you can get the confidence. So it will not be just like me teaching because like definitely that is something that I, will, I won't avoid. I didn't like the teachers in my schools, but that was also connected because I didn't like the subjects, but like it's not about teachers, it's about subject. So, uh, but definitely will be like more uh, interactive for people who want to engage. Other people who don't want to engage, feel free to just lay in your bed and like take it easy. Um, uh, 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 okay. Uh, we will start. Okay, for people who don't know me, uh, I also put some notes that probably I will forget most of them, but like this is just the way that we are doing like all the meetings. I'm Adriana Buyadin, as you can see. Um, I am mindset coach and I am also SEO consultant. I'm coming from the SEO consultant background where I was doing all the SEO uh, I was doing all these SEO titles, SEO consultant, senior, senior SEO consultant, SEO manager, head of SEO. I was collecting all these titles just to uh, to feel better about myself. And um, after two to three years, when I got a uh, title of the SEO manager, uh, I was realizing that actually even I'm doing uh, work that everybody around me is saying like that's good work they were promoting me i'm feeling very stressed every day uh very anxious and like uh, that was the first time that i was having anxiety because i'm coming from bosnia and like we in bosnia we have like so many problems but like one of them is not anxiety so basically i didn't know what is anxiety before i started to work as a SEO consultant i was having like 10 plus clients it was very stressful i was young SEO specialist who didn't know much experience so i was learning every day i was working more than 12 hours every day trying to catch up trying to to do all things that will help me to feel better about myself. So I was learning as much as possible. I was taking different SEO courses. I was learning about GR4, more about like SEO and just to avoid the, the constant stress that I was having on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, like when you are collecting all the stress, you are becoming frustrated, like even you are promoting, like you are seeing that like something is off, something is not, something is not that you are enjoying in your work. And like we as SEO specialists, like we love SEO and we really want to enjoy the SEO work. But all these clients, team members, different companies, Google updates, constant changes, constant in, um, uncertainty about like all these Google uh, things are making us so nervous on daily basis. So after th almost like two and a half years, I was so burnt out. But of course, that I didn't know that like it was burnout. I just wanted to quit my job because even I was getting some decent money, uh, I could pay like my bills in Dublin. I could travel a little bit. Like it, it was a decent job. Like it was a very nice company, team members. But like 
I just like, I, I was so overwhelmed, exhausted, like tired every day, like, you know, waiting for a weekend. I was feeling okay on Saturday, but like, no, Sunday, it's all me almost makes me anxious and nervous. And like, I didn't know like what to do. Like I was also going to therapy, but like, it didn't help me as much to just like handle all these things. And that was a moment when I was uh, discovering coaching world mindset things like life coaches before that I was thinking that they are just like liars like they are just like you know making you to pay money and like they are not kind of like real people that really can help you but like I I couldn't find any other uh, 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 solution and uh, so I was uh, I was like okay let's start with this like life coaching thing maybe that can help me just like to feel better about myself and then one year after, totally completely new mindset. Com even I was working in the same company. I was having bigger responsibility. I was having bigger uh, projects, bigger clients. I'm completely transformed in different person that is more confident, that knows her values, that are able to uh, negotiate for a bigger salary, for bigger positions. Then I'm starting uh, my business as a coaching and like I'm, I'm kind of like living my purpose. Finally, I found my purpose in life. So I got fulfillment. I'm not stressed. So that is a thing that I want to share the knowledge with you, how I got that confidence that I'm living today. Like in this moment, as you can see, my English is not perfect it's far away from perfect but I'm still talking in English feeling confident like even I'm making a lot of mistakes but like that's fine because like it's just the way how I am, how I am. and I'm admitting more people so quick intro about me let's talk why we are here let's talk about the confidence and you know like Today, people are just like talking about confidence uh, on every corner. You can see you need to be more confident. You need confidence to get there. Just like be more confident and you uh, think positive or like all these things. But like, hell no, like that, that confidence like is even a cliche where like you can see everywhere. But like what that confidence really means. And the confidence is actually just a middle step between you and your goals your goals is actually what you want to have in your life as a next thing it can be so wide from the career goals from the life goals from the uh, um, goals uh, career for example if you want to achieve next position if you want to uh, transfer yourself from the full time to freelance if you want to start your own business if you want to grow to the higher SEO director head of SEO to any kind of um, bigger position in your company or you want to change complete your job uh, so many different things and goals that you want to achieve confidence is a kind of like middle step how you are achieving that because you know like we just don't want to confidence just like that like honestly I don't care about confidence if I have everything that I want if I'm feeling good about myself on today's work if I'm not stressed if I'm not overwhelmed if I'm not frustrated, then like it's perfect. Like you don't need confidence. You're just like living your dream life and job. But if you are still having these lack of confidence sim sim symptoms, like more kind of like side effects, if you see that you are not productive, if you see that you can be consistent, that you're not feeling good about yourself, that you are just like, you know, like we know when something is off. Something is not like, even it seems like, okay, I have like decent job, good salary, but you know, like when you wake up in the morning and when you finish your job, like something is off and just like to realize, to get the clarity, what is off is actually your goal, what you really want to do in your life and how you want to achieve it. And confidence is helping you to get there. So just like for, for, for the people who are here and like we have a lot of people, just uh, put in the comment what you want to get with confidence. Because like what is your goal? Just to, so I can cover some of your examples. I think 
Uh, I put some of the examples here, but definitely let me know if you want uh, more. Also, I have some questions here, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm as I mentioned, like for any reason why um, you are here, maybe you even don't know uh, about your goal, like that's totally fine. You can also see like what other people want. So usually what I'm seeing like with, uh, with my coaching clients, they want to start their own business. They want to grow in the next SEO position. They want to have current position, but with less stress, with and feeling not uh, with um, no feeling of overwhelming uh, thoughts or anything like this. So any of these thoughts you have, you can put in the in the call in the chat. Um, oh, somebody is saying I can't message the group. Can you message me? Mm. Okay, I put everyone in the meeting, so. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I was saying like, can you put in the chat, but actually I for I put uh, permission to not. Okay, I think uh, what I can to the group. Okay, you can send me in any way. Okay. I just want to make sure that you are now having the possibility. Monza, can you try now to put the... Because I'm seeing your messages. And Sarah, I'm seeing your messages. So you can directly just like send a message to me. Okay, now we are getting... <laughs> My goal would be to start freelancing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there are private messages. Yeah, just like you can send me your because also I wanted to make sure that like you're secure so you are not seeing everybody's messages or something like that. So basically, I'm making a protection for you to uh, feel safe. Okay, now we are getting how to rebuild as your career after a bit of break to raise a family that's that's huge easily to feel I have fallen behind. Uh, in comparison to others, especially as a woman, yeah. Uh, start freelancing as a side job that gives me more freedom financially. Get more confidence as a speaking on the stage and as your conferences, less stress. Yeah, basically, like if you if you have any of other, just like please uh, let us know. Maybe I will not be able to read again, but like you can see. Um, and like that is something that I'm seeing across all my coaching clients. Less stress, less overwhelming feelings, uh, starting your own business, growing to the next position, moving from full-time to freelancing, and just like these things for the people who had some breaks. So that is, I think like all these goals are around like top 10 goals that like we are all having. We are really, very similar. Like you will see, um, we are just having different names. We are becoming, uh, we are uh, coming from different cultures, but like we want to have the same um, uh, uh, goals in our life because like we are very similar. We want to, we want to feel fulfilled. We want to achieve success. We want to have more money, not just because money is like something, because we want to have better life and we want to improve the quality of life. And unfortunately, like the world is like that, we are doing that with money. So we don't want to have like huge successful careers and having this money just because of that. No, we want fulfillment, freedom. Freedom is huge. Like so many different clients want freedom to work in the way they want to work with the flexible jobs, with the flexible work hours. So that is something we want. Okay. I think I covered a lot of um, these goals that we want. If you don't, uh, if you have some additional goal, just like uh, let us know. But I think we covered uh, a lot. So, and you will see the process and, uh, is the same for any goal that you want to achieve. 
with confidence. And again, please be mindful, I'm not covering fake confidence or like arrogance. No, just like how to become confident in the kind of more easy way like you know like when you are waking up with ease and grace and like you are like easy like you you don't have like these hard thoughts you're not overworking like you're not uh, be so busy and like that is something that confidence is helping us to see clearly what we want to get in our life because if your value is actually to have more time for your family friends, partners to travel, then you need to get definitely less busy life. To get less busy life, you need to have clarity and the confidence which actions you need to take to get what you want. Because nowadays, what you can see with the mindset, you can achieve like more things that you want with the less uh, um, less uh, working hard. Because like in the past, they taught us that we need to work very hard, our parents, our teachers, our community, that you need to work very hard to get your dreams achieved. But no, nowadays we have, we need to have a right mindset, a confidence to achieve what we really want. Okay, I think I covered uh, these uh, things. I didn't forget anything. If I go forget, never mind. So, Let's first discuss how we are already trying to get the confidence. So, uh, so many of us, and you will agree, is actually we are trying and like we are hoping that we will get the confidence by the years of the experience. And definitely, if you are not in the first years like of your SEO careers, you will see that actually your career years are growing but your confidence is not growing as in the same level as you are thinking that you will get. So there is a huge gap. And that is like the biggest conception about getting the confidence. Because we are just like waiting more and more years of experience to get that confidence. But we are not getting there. Because you will see why experience is not something that can give you that confidence that you need for like these new uh, things. Experience is helping you to become confident in the tasks that you are already done. So for example, for the keyword research, for any SEO related task that you did in the past, of course, that you are now more confident about this. But for the new positions, for the starting new business, for the experience that you didn't have, all these achievements, all these ex uh, years of experience are not helping you. And please correct me if you think that you are getting like this. Another thing, how we are trying to fix the problem, which is lack of confidence, is we are buying more SEO courses, more other courses, because we are just trying to learn more, to collect more information, to just like get something that will help boost our confidence. And as you can see, whenever you are gaining like more information with the new SEO course, you're just discovering a new rabbit hole that you didn't know before. And of course, that now it feels like even more stressed and more frustrated because like before course, you didn't, you didn't know some small thing. And now you, know, you don't know about like new five things that you have learned on the course, but like you need to go deeply. So that is the reason like why years of experience courses are not working to boosting your confidence. What else? We are trying to enroll another certificate. So uh, enrolling another certificates is just leading you, as you can see, just leading to the advance that certificate. And again, we are collecting information. We are just like learning more. We are, we are doing all these things, but like, no, it's not helping us with the confidence. It's just like we are feeling even bigger imposter because now we know something that we didn't know before. So what else? How we are trying to fix the confidence? We are waiting for better times, for more times. We are saying that we will start our business next year. We will saying that we will ask for a salary increase in six months, next time. 
we are um, trying to grow in our corporate ladder by waiting that maybe our manager will remember us. Maybe they will ask us. So we are just waiting to get a better moments. And like you can see, time is just like passing by. What else? We are trying to, to get the moment when we are less busy. And we know all like how huge the lie is. Because like we are never less busy. We are just becoming over busy with the all new things that we are trying to do. And like how all these things ends. We are just like more exhausted, more frustrated, more stressed, more more burned out because like we are trying different things and and we are not, not getting that confidence so it's becoming like very frustrated like what i'm doing wrong and i will tell you what you're doing wrong because all these years of experience courses certifications learning more less busy times more time all these are external factors you can see all external factors what we are missing here are actually internal factors. And internal factors are something that is coming from us, from our inner body. So if you wonder like what is uh, um, inner factors, those are insecurities, our insecurities, our self-doubts, our fear of mistake, our fear of failure, our fear of success. All these imposter syndrome thoughts. And do you see the difference between like external factors and internal factors? So I don't know like if you have any chance to hear the difference between things because like that is something that makes you confident working on your internal factors, factors that are coming from you, Work, fixing your imposter syndrome, working on your fear of making mistakes, fear of failure, fear, fear, of, uh, uh, fear of success, working on your self-doubts. That is something that may, and like in the, in the end of the day, it's so logic, right? So I'm just going to check the chat do you see the difference between and do uh, and you can also raise a hand like if you was trying to fix the confidence in one way you didn't uh fix it or even like if you fix it please share your experience here you don't need to go on camera just raise a hand and i will i will uh unmute you if you are not feeling <laughs> engaged, no worries, uh, I can continue. But if someone wants to share just like the thoughts, what we already covered, external factors, things that we are trying to do and how, we, how it ends, because that is our current moment. We are stressed, we are overwhelmed, we are frustrated because nobody taught us how to actually work on our confidence. You know, like we didn't learn this in school. We didn't have like teachers who were saying like, hey, confidence is very important. No, in our cultures, we're actually working hard, following the some successful people and like nobody's saying to you like what you need to do to get your confidence to again achieve these goals. All right. So, we covered that, we covered like the internal factors. Now let's uh, go in details, like how to actually work on these internal factors. In working on the fixing imposter syndrome, on the self-doubts, on the, all these fears, is actually working and understanding you. You are getting under better understanding like why you are doing some things in the way you do. Because all this is something that we got from our cultures, from our parents, from our environment during our um, childhood. So if, you, if we want to fix our own insecurities, we need to work on our inner child, like on the thoughts, 
Because once we are getting know each, uh, ourselves better, in that way, we will be able to identify our thoughts. Once we are aware what kind of thoughts we have in our head, that is perfect stage to work on these thoughts, to manage these thoughts. And managing these thoughts is actually with the coaching things about analyzing these thoughts and why, you are, why we are feeling in the way we want. Because again, this is a structure, why, why we can't achieve our goal. Because there is some feelings and thoughts we are having. Because otherwise, yeah, you, you will get there. You, you would start your business, you would start your freelancing, you, will, you would get your uh, salary increase, you would increase your prices as a freelancer, you would get your freedom, you will get your success, you will reach that next career goal that you want, you would become SEO director. But the reason like why you can't do that is about these feelings and thoughts that are here and here. And what's the process? One thought is creating a feeling. And like feelings are actually more about the stress, frustration, anxiety, because something our body is telling us. And you know, like our body doesn't have a, a, a language. So it's our, the body language is actually stressing. You know, like when you are stressed, something is off. And something is off is actually a thought that created that stress. So just on working on these thoughts and stress and um, feelings is something that is reducing your, your stress and you are becoming all, uh, more aware of these thoughts. You are managing talk, uh, thoughts correctly. You are establishing the mindset that you need to get the goal you want. And you see the, the, the kind of like structure, how it's going. All right, so now with the, just thinking about, have you ever heard of this? Our teachers, like parents, they didn't told us, hey, you need to work on yourself. You need to work on your mindset. You need to work on, on your confidence. And like, if you are thinking just like for two seconds, like just to, to get a feeling about yourself and getting know yourself, like, what do you think actually about yourself? What kind of opinion in this moment you have about yourself? Is it positive? Is it negative? We would always say, yeah, I, I'm okay, but I need to fix this and this and this. We are more critiques to us. Like, you know, like you need to improve this. You need to improve this. Like you are lazy. You should work more. You should do this. You sh and like, we are kind of like our parent to us because that is something that we got from our parents like and that is like in the most beautiful way they wanted to protect us and they wanted to make a good people from us so they are they, they were saying like you need to work you need to learn you need to be a very hard worker you need to be very productive consistent show up professional but no we need to work on ourselves because like Today and like this time is totally, it's crazy time, but it's totally different from our parents and they, their daily. And like SEO, uh, SEO job is totally different from the another industries because like they don't have like all these Google updates then they don't have like all the crazy uh, changes on daily basis. So the only way to get the confidence to achieve and grow even more is actually working on your insecurities, self-doubts, imposter syndrome, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of mistakes. Because once you are shaping all these rejections as well, I didn't mention that. Once you are fixing these five factors, then you are becoming confident. You believe in yourself. You believe in your capabilities. Who from this audience is believing in yourself no matter what? Can you raise a hand? No, because nobody taught us how to be, believe in ourselves. 
No. And believing in ourselves is actually confidence. Confidence that we are able to make something in our life, to make that next step. Because the reason why you are not having the extraordinary success that you want, freedom you want, better, more money that you want, better life that you want, is actually because you don't believe that it's possible for you. And belief is alignment with the confidence. Believing in yourself, building a trust in yourself. Trust that you can do great things because like these new positions, new things are actually something new for you. And you don't believe, you don't have trust in yourself that you are capable of it. And like that's the confidence. That's again middle step that you need to gain to be there. Because that is the process like how you are becoming confident. We already tried with all these external factors courses, years of experience, certifications, learning more, learning all these things. And like, no, we are still not confident. We are not believing in ourselves. Do you see the difference? When I was entering like this coaching world and when I saw the difference between these two, I was like, why nobody is talking about this? Because that is something that we really need to know. And once you are getting confident as a final result and as a final goal that we want to achieve, you're able to start new new job, you're able to start your own business, you are transforming yourself from the full time to the independent SEO consultant, you are getting new uh, SEO position, you are getting higher salary, you are earning more money, you are optimizing your life in the way you want. You're optimizing your job in the way you want because you are not afraid of rejection. You are not afraid of making mistakes. You're not afraid of the success. You're not afraid of money that you will get and ask for it because you are confident in your values, in the your worth, like what is actually possible for you to get. And then you are getting like all the success, freedom and the life that you really want. All right, so I think I covered everything that I want. So now it's time for you. Now it's time for you to ask all the, the unclear questions that you have. You can also share your goal, what you want to achieve, what, how you are trying to get that confidence to get that goal. So we can go and see like wha what is missing part and like why what do you need to get and do to get the goal you want. And I will take a little bit of water. And you can share any thoughts. You can also uh, raise a hand uh, and I will unmute you. All right. Uh, we'll check the chat. One of, one of the goals, be more confident is in SEO knowledge and not second guessing myself. Yeah, that's the thing. Because... Uh, for example, I, I will take, because this is so uh, common for the uh, 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 all my actually clients, is getting more confidence in the SEO knowledge. So just, just ask yourself, is it possible to know everything? And like, just check your past experience when you were learning something to get and be more confident in something, but then you discovered a new rabbit hole that you don't know. Again, you are using these external factors because being confident in the SEO knowledge is external factor that you are trying to do for confidence. Confidence only needs to come from the internal factors. And that is like the biggest uh, issue that we are not seeing as SEO specialist. Because community and everybody is saying, like, you need to learn more. You need to have bigger uh, SEO knowledge. And, and then, like, you are uh, second-guessing 
yourself. Once you are in, in establishing that trust and belief in your capabilities, in that way, you are not second guessing yourself because you are confident whatever you are talking. Uh, I had also, uh, my goal is to get more confidence at speaking on the stage and SU conference. That's that's big thing. And also you have noticed if you have ever uh, preparing your speech, you are actually trying to uh, go over the presentation, make the presentation very nice in the bullet points, all these like moments that you think that you uh, need to present, you show you need to show like your experience, expertise, but like all other things are so stressing for yourself. And you can notice if you just like take a few seconds, you are stressing yourself about what other people will say about you. What if someone is asking a question and you don't know? What if these people are saying that you don't have enough experience? Maybe you, that you told something on the stage that is not right. And you can see as many as preparation, presentation, you are done, you haven't covered these questions. What will people think about you? What if they reject you? You didn't cover a fear of mistake. You didn't cover fear of failure. So, and of course that like you can't become as you're confident on the stage because like you are not fixing these problems. You're fixing like how to do better research from the presentation, how to use better resources, how to make better graphs, how to make it more clear. And you are not fixing your insecurities by this. Once you are covering all these insecurities, self-doubts, once you are managing your mind in the proper way, once you know how to actually realize and catch these thoughts, why you are feeling stressed, why you are anxious. Because all these feelings, stress, frustration, anxiety, are actually side effects of your thoughts. What they will think about me? What if I make a mistake? What if they ask me and I don't know something? Once you are managing your mind properly, once you are establishing a proper mindset, then you are getting confidence and like, you know, like even I'm going to the stage, even I'm not an English speaker, even I have just like few years of experience, even people with a 10 plus years of experience will be in the audience. I know my thing and I will say what I know. And like, that's enough for today. I want to grow. I want to learn, but I'm confident in today's capabilities about this stage. And this is because like everybody started somewhere, you know, like the people with the 10 plus years experience, like they, they, they didn't start with a 10 years experience. They started with the one year experience. And can you imagine them in the first year of the uh, SEO job? Because you are comparing yourself for example, if you have like six years of experience, you're comparing some, um, yourself with somebody who is having 15 year experience. And of course that it's like it's huge gap. It's, it's like, it's not uh, real and possible that like there is no gap, but you shouldn't be compared with the people with the 15 years experience. The only thing is actually comparing yourself from the last year. And like growing, because that is the only way how you can grow with the peace, how you can grow with the ease and grace. Because like, you know, like whenever we are comparing ourselves to the li li to these like LinkedIn popular people, like you're just getting stressed. What else? Uh, start a freelancing as a side job that gives me more freedom financially. So this is, this is a thing because like, um, people who are working in corporation for other agency, they value freedom. They value freedom and they, that is a kind of like first step how you are getting the freedom, starting your own business, having your own clients. Of course, the reason is money. The reason is like better life. If you want to travel more, work less or anything. So starting freelancing is a, is a huge confidence thing because maybe you're confident with the current clients, with the current agency, with the client, current in-house position. But again, 
freelancing is totally new position. So you can get the confidence from the current achievements you have. You know, like people are uh, are usually, and that is what I'm seeing with my clients. They are they are coming to me and saying like, "Hey, I, I tried yesterday putting all the um, um putting all the achievements that I did for the last ten years, and didn't help me to actually fix my imposter and fix my confidence." And I'm saying like, of course, because like we are comparing totally different things. Um, trying to achieve a new position that we have never been in versus all the achievements that we did is like trying to find your apartment in the wrong building. Because like freelance freelancing is some wholly new job. And the only thing is actually because you are, you are can't, why you can't start a new job as a freelancing is actually that you are afraid. And then like we are... Uh, doing like these thoughts. I'm afraid that I will not have enough clients. These clients can leave me. These clients, uh, maybe they will not pay me as a, uh, I have like the, the salary for my current. And like all these thoughts that are feeling stressed, uh, stressful for you and you are paralyzed and you can't do any action because you don't believe in yourself that you will be able to do it because you are lacking the confidence. And how we, I'm just like repeating myself. So how we um, uh, mentioned how we are fixing the confidence, fixing the insecurities, working on our master syndrome, working on our self-doubts, working on our fears, establishing our new mindset, managing our mind properly so we can do some actions about our freelancing jobs. Also, I'm seeing now uh, getting a corporate job after years of freelancing. I hit a wall every time I can't seem to go around. This is something. For the few years, we were doing freelancing. And this is something that we are kind of like, for any kind of reason, we want to change our job. Maybe we, um, we change our values. Maybe we have got bored. Maybe we want to have like uh, additional experience. And now the whole corporate world is a new thing for us because this is the first time that you are having maybe seven, eight years of experience and you are trying to find a good corporate jobs because of course that you are not going to find a corporate job that is for junior that you start, that you found like eight years ago. So now you are looking to get more, more kind of like senior positions because like with the eight years of experience, between like five to 10 years of experience, of course that you are going to look more senior positions. And of course that you want to be paid for it. And now what you are missing, what you are missing a confidence and like all these insecurities or oh, they will, uh, they will ask me why I'm leaving my freelancing job. Maybe they will think that I'm not good enough there. Maybe I didn't have like enough clients. So all the internal factors are coming up. And we are feeling very stressful when we are going, going to these interviews. And of course, that all these people who are especially looking for some seniors position, they are looking for some uh, people with a good leadership skills, with a good communicational skills, with a good soft skills, because like these leaders are leading the team. They are communicating with the clients. So they want to see the confidence in yourself. You, They want to see that when you are talking, like you are very confident, you know what you are talking about, you are um, leading this conversation on totally higher level than you would do as a, a junior. But you don't believe in yourself. And of course that you are shaking on these meetings because like it's it's kind of like so stressful for you. So if you want to reduce yourself, you're working on your internal factors and then you are going and presenting yourself as a confident as your uh, uh, freelancer who want to get a new job as a corporate world and you know the reason. Also, uh, another comment, getting the confidence back after getting laid off. I resonate a lot with you say, signing for the lot of training. I feel like I'm trying to fill a gap. Yeah. And uh, getting confidence and 
getting back the confidence that you had after a laid off is a is a is a big thing because you know some someone there they realize that they don't need you and they fired you and like what you are seeing even you know that like this company hasn't been working well they didn't have to pay um, the, the salaries and everything here you are feeling that you haven't been worthy to stay with that company and like what you are doing now you are gaining more uh, uh, information from the courses different trainings from the certifications but again you are collecting information and trying to get confidence from external factors and of course that like here you are still stressed exhausted tired because you didn't fix your own imposter syndrome thought that you are not good enough and you're experiencing that. But just like to, to make sure the past experience doesn't define you. If you got laid out, it doesn't mean that you haven't been worthy, that you haven't been good enough. No, it's just the situation that like huge amount of SEO experience, uh, SEO specialists experienced last year over the last two years and now once you are getting a new kind of like identity building a trust with yourself now you are able to get the confidence to get a new job okay i think i will cover one or two more and that will be all for today because definitely the the last Thing for today is uh, uh, that actually I don't want to overwhelm by all these things. The main structure behind building your confidence is actually putting the guidelines that you, what you are uh, trying and the way that you are trying to gain a confidence is a totally mistake. And you are not guilty because nobody is taught us, nobody is like uh, is telling us about these things. So you are not guilty, but you are definitely responsible if you want to achieve these great goals and things that you want to uh, get in your life. And confidence is just like middle step, but we can't, as you can see, you're experiencing that for many years. You can't get confidence from these external factors because the confidence is coming from the internal factors. All right, and I will get one more. Go, la, la. get rid of imposter syndrome yeah basically again we can do that with external factors we are doing that with uh, internal factors fixing our uh, insecurities uh, self doubts once we are establishing that right mindset then we are getting the confidence and uh how to rebuild as your career Oh, okay, uh, yeah, I think I didn't cover that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and this is huge. Uh, I'm so happy that I saw this message. How to rebuild SEO career after a bit of break to raise a family. And this is this is so common for a, a huge number of, uh, of women who took a break for the kids and then they are feeling so behind because maybe they haven't been in the SEO space for six months, for 12 months. So now you're trying to catch up with all these things. And again, even you think, and definitely correct me if I'm, if you are not doing this, you are trying to catch up with all these Google updates, with all these like new uh, uh, knowledge that we got from the SEO space about SEO Google guidelines, like what happened there, Google search console. So you are trying to learn more about this, but what you are avoiding and you are totally ignoring your own internal factors about your own thoughts, feelings, foster syndrome thoughts, self-doubts. So you will not, maybe, and definitely you try to catch up with all these things and it's not working. So just you need to work on these mindset things to get the confidence and uh, be in that position that you are right. Yeah, I took a break. Now I'm ready to, to start my career in the new way because you now have totally different values. You definitely more want to spend more time with your family, with your kids. And for doing that, 
you need to avoid all these stressful situation and being very confident like in the job that you are doing and the goals you want to achieve. All right, so I think I covered a lot. Also, please, um, uh, if you want to cover some of the goals that you want to achieve, but you don't know how to get there, you don't know how to fix the confidence, how to get the confidence, just let me know. DM on LinkedIn. You have also my email. You can find me on, on my YouTube channel or just like DM me on LinkedIn. We can hop on the call. I can guide you, instruct you how you will get a, uh, actually a confidence that you need for your specific goal. Because we covered a lot of generic goals, but just let me know if you want to see how to get the next position in the any way, any direction that you want to get, we can hop on the quick call so I can uh, basically make the guideline and instructions like how you can do it. All right, for the last time today, any questions, any anything that you would like to share with me today? We are finalizing this. Okay, if I didn't answer some of the messages, please let me know in the, I think it's easier on the DM on LinkedIn and I can uh, I can uh, uh, cover you uh, uh, with uh, more details. Uh, sorry if I saw, uh, I skipped a lot of uh, messages. I just uh, didn't have like a, a proper setup. That is something that I will improve next time. But like e even like, uh, I didn't answer your message, just like DM me, we can hop on the call, I can guide you so you can get the call you want and get the confidence. All right, so um, that's it for today. And uh, let me know for any thoughts that you had. And uh, yeah, we would like to meet you all and just like DM me on LinkedIn. Thank you so much and uh, have a great Tuesday.